Hi guys, how's it going? This is our original racing machine and it was built in 1989. It doesn't have a microprocessor, it's all logic gates, but it works really good and it changed my racing habits forever and I've been staging cars ever since. And that's going to be our coffee cup today. I've made a, a device that's drastically increased the performance of HO cars in regards to bumping up to the line and it consists of this button and it's it's so precise and I can move in such small increments that I'm more agile staging with this thing than 26 years of experience with feathering the throttle and it's also a lot easier on the controller. Okay without getting too much technically into it I just wanted to explain that what the button does is it eliminates variables now this is a typical waveform that might be produced by, by feathering the trigger. And as you can see, it's just one big variable. It tapers up, it tapers down, and whenever you're operating at less than 50% throttle, the car is just looking for a place to stall. It's like a radio seeking a station. It's gonna find that dead spot, and it's gonna stop, and it's gonna stay there until somebody reaches down there and pushes it. All, all every one of these has that potential. Uh, the only time it's linear is when it's off. That's the only time it's constant and not varying is when it's all the way off. Even the peaks aren't uniform. So by contrast, what the button comes in and does is it doesn't have any variables. It's either off or it's on. And on is always 71% full throttle. So this is, this is how it's so effective at avoiding the dead spots and you're able to bump, a, bump forward and tiny little muscular increments and I'll demonstrate that right now. With HO cars I used to, I used to like to stage first all the time because if I uh, jumped in too deep um, I could rip around the track and take another shot at it because uh, I like to stage shallow, try to time a rolling start. But now that I have my button and I have so much more uh, control I can just edge forward and it, it looks cool too. It looks like a car really is power breaking forward and I know now just a couple more little bumps and I'm going to stage and then it's going to be physically as shallow as possible and I can time my rolling start. You know it works any car. You do have to have your shoes clean of course. And you got to keep your track clean. But you only really need to keep super clean right there by the uh, by your starting piece. And I always start on my terminal piece too. So that uh, you, know, you don't have to worry about line loss. So there you have it. This thing's just uh, just been a joy to screw around with and I just wish I would have come up with it so long ago. And now I have to go and uh, put buttons in all our controllers because uh, it just, well, we can enjoy the strategy of staging, just like with the uh, larger scales, you know. Before, you know, you, it was just a roll of the dice jumping onto the platform there. You got about three quarters of an inch of active space there, and uh, it's just a crapshoot, you know. And now, you know, I, it, it, it takes that variable out. I can bump up till I'm just barely staged, and so that I know exactly where I am, and I can, I can get used to uh, when I can pull the trigger. Okay, the entire apparatus consists of two of these 22 ohm resistors, two watt, got to be two watts. The button itself, and I found that a small, tall button, for me, worked better than a shorter, stockier button. Then you got a piece of wire and a piece of shrink wrap, and that's it. I, I never try to put them in the stock controllers, and I don't, I don't know if there's room in there, and these are, seem to be hermetically sealed. Uh, we've broke a ton of them from, you know, the stress from staging like that. And every time I try to get them apart, I just mutilate them beyond putting them back together again. So we've ended up with these uh, controllers that are ended up uh, just a real workhorse. They're made by Parma, P-A-R-M-A, -A, and they're just bulletproof. And we really had a lot of fun with them. And, and they, had got a, they got a red wire for, uh, you know, braking if you want to hook up braking and what they look like what the what it looks like inside is like that there it is and uh, 
Took a second, made up a schematic. So there's your two uh, resistors right there, and you can see they're, they're hooked up in parallel. And when you hook them up in parallel, the resistance is, is divided in half. So you got 11 ohms. I couldn't get an 11 ohm isn't a standard value, so I had to make it this way. And with 2 watts, they double. When you put them in parallel, it doubles. So you got 4 watts, which is uh, really nice. When I, when I was making and experimenting, I just used these little tiny quarter watt resistors. And that works fine for bumping, but I just didn't want to worry about, I wanted to child proof it as much as possible. So if somebody holds this button down constantly and there's a car running around on the track, uh, the resistors will get warm and these will just burst, uh, they'll just burn up, they'll just smoke. And so anyway, well you, what, what I did, and I want to do a disclaimer now, I'm not telling you anybody to do this. In fact, I'm telling you don't do it. This is just what I did. Here's your B plus volts. In this case, that's going to be that white wire coming up here to the top of this variable resistor. Okay, I tapped off that and I went into my, my two 22 ohm resistors and out of that, this, this is a wire with shrink wrap around it so it doesn't short out. That's ground when the button is pushed. And it goes down to one terminal of the button. Here's your button here. Got plenty of room in these par parmas to, to put that in there. And then from the other terminal of the button, I ran it down. You run it down to ground. And I ran that. That's your, your black wire here. Ran him down to, to, to this black wire. In DC appliances, black it's like carved in stone it's always ground so anyway I used a pair of wires or I used yeah a pair of wire strippers to expose a little bit of wire and tapped into it right there and uh, it's and it's done and so now um, you're gonna have a lot of fun with this puppy Fire. Bad.